say they have found the strongest sign yet of possible life beyond our solar system. They've done so by detecting the chemical footprint of gases in an alien planet's atmosphere that, on Earth, are only produced by living organisms. Science scientists have been studying the universe for years, trying to find some indication of other worldly life out there. Well, a new discovery has many buzzing about the possibilities of just that. An Earth-like planet has been found, and in space terms, it's basically just next door. For years, astronomers have theorized that a massive unseen planet may be hiding beyond Neptune, lurking in the icy frontier of our solar system. Now accumulating evidence strongly points toward the existence of this mysterious Planet Nine, a potential super-Earth nearly five times as massive as our own. It could be reshaping our understanding of the solar system's architecture from the shadows. The clues are mounting, from the peculiar orbits of distant celestial bodies, to slight unexplained deviations in spacecraft trajectories, and with powerful new telescopes poised to search the skies, we may be on the brink of confirming one of the greatest astronomical finds of the century. The story began in 2016, when Caltech scientists Michael Brown and Konstantin Batygin made a startling observation. A small group of icy objects far beyond Neptune, trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs, shared oddly similar orbital traits. Their orbits were elongated in the same direction and tilted roughly 30 degrees compared to the rest of the solar system. Such alignment shouldn't occur naturally. According to Batygin and Brown, the odds of this arrangement happening by random chance are less than 0.0002%. That means something must be orchestrating it. Since then, even more objects with matching orbits have been found. Currently, 13 known TNOs exhibit this strange grouping. Their clustering hints at a gravitational influencer, an unseen massive body nudging them into place, much like a hidden conductor leading an invisible orchestra. This hypothesis was thoroughly tested against observational bias, and researchers found the clustering remains statistically significant, even when telescope limitations are accounted for. A particularly extreme example is 2015 BP519, which orbits at an astonishing 54 degrees angle, exactly the kind of anomaly predicted by simulations of Planet Nine's influence. To explore whether a hidden planet could account for these patterns, astronomers turn to advanced computer modeling. These simulations recreate billions of years of orbital evolution in just weeks, testing a variety of conditions with and without a massive distant planet. When Planet Nine was excluded, the orbits of TNOs appeared scattered and chaotic, but adding a distant planet roughly five Earth masses, orbiting about 500 astronomical units away, produced an almost perfect match to real-world observations. The simulated TNOs clustered in just the same way we see in the sky. It wasn't just a fluke. The models replicated specific traits, orbital elongation, tilt, and even distribution. Alternative theories, such as interactions with many smaller Kuiper Belt objects, failed under scrutiny requiring unrealistic assumptions about mass and distribution. Even more compelling, the simulations made predictions about where new TNOs might be found. As fresh discoveries align with those predictions, the Planet Nine theory becomes increasingly difficult to dismiss. Support for Planet Nine's existence also comes from a more unexpected source, our own interstellar explorers. The Pioneer and Voyager missions, now billions of kilometers from Earth, have experienced slight deviations in their trajectories, too subtle to be explained by known forces alone. After ruling out factors like radiation pressure, gas leaks, and all known planetary influences, a consistent gravitational anomaly remains. Interestingly, this residual pull lines up with the region where Planet Nine is expected to reside, and it's not limited to one spacecraft. Both Pioneer and Voyager, traveling in separate directions, register similar disturbances. This multi-directional confirmation hints that they're feeling the pull of the same object from different perspectives. These deviations are small, mere meters per year, but they're real and measurable, thanks to high-precision tracking from NASA's Deep Space Network. With New Horizons now venturing further into space, scientists are eager to see whether it detects the same subtle gravitational tug. The discovery of Sedna in 2003 baffled astronomers. Its elongated orbit stretches from 76 astronomical units to nearly 1,000 astronomical units from the Sun, far beyond Neptune's influence. Traditional models of solar system formation couldn't account for such a path, 
But when Planet 9 was added to the equation, Sedna's orbit suddenly made sense. The gravitational influence of a massive distant planet could naturally guide Sedna into its current trajectory. Sedna isn't alone. Objects like 2012 VP113, Biden, and 2015 TG387, the Goblin, follow similar highly eccentric orbits. Simulations show these orbits remain stable only if a massive body like Planet 9 is anchoring them from afar. There's another lingering mystery that Planet 9 might resolve. The six-degree tilt of the Sun's rotation axis compared to the orbits of the planets. This slight misalignment shouldn't exist if all bodies formed from the same spinning disk of gas and dust. But when simulations incorporate Planet 9's gravitational influence over billions of years, the Sun's tilt emerges naturally. Researchers didn't even set out to explain the tilt. It emerged as an incidental result of Planet 9's presence, a powerful indication that the model reflects reality. The timing works, too. Planet 9's migration to its current orbit fits the timeline during which the Sun's tilt likely developed. If Planet 9 is real, how did it end up so far from the Sun? One theory suggests it was born closer in, possibly near the gas giants, and was flung outward during the early chaotic days of the solar system. Gravitational interactions with Jupiter or Saturn could have pushed it into a distant, stable orbit, rather than ejecting it entirely. Another possibility, Planet 9 wasn't born here at all. It may have once orbited another star and was captured during a close stellar flyby in the Sun's youth. Star-forming regions are crowded, and such planetary thefts are plausible. In fact, simulations show up to a 10% chance of a capture like this occurring during the Sun's early life. Each theory has merit. A Neptune-like composition would support the ejection model. An unusual chemical makeup might hint at an alien origin, but we won't know for sure until we find it and study it directly. Thanks to an ever-growing list of clues, strange orbital alignments, spacecraft anomalies, gravitational modeling, and unexplained tilts, Planet 9 is no longer mere speculation. It's become a leading contender in the search for hidden worlds in our own cosmic backyard. With next-generation observatories like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory set to scan the skies with unprecedented depth and detail, we may soon get our first glimpse of this elusive giant. If and when we do, it won't just be a new planet. It will be a revolution in how we understand our solar system and its place in the galaxy. Recent simulations and data have dramatically refined where scientists believe the elusive Planet 9 might be hiding. The current models place this mysterious world at an average distance of about 500 astronomical units from the Sun. That's 500 times farther than Earth's orbit. Its path around the Sun is believed to be extremely elongated, drawing it as close as 200 astronomical units at perihelion and carrying it out as far as 1,100 astronomical units at aphelion. Such a vast and stretched orbit makes the planet incredibly faint, reflecting minimal sunlight and rendering it nearly invisible to even our most powerful telescopes. This distant giant likely takes between 10,000 and 20,000 years to complete a single orbit. That glacial pace means it moves so slowly across the night sky that detecting it with traditional methods becomes a real challenge. But now astronomers have honed in on more specific regions of the sky. By analyzing the gravitational tugs exerted on trans-Neptunian objects and subtle anomalies in spacecraft trajectories, researchers have identified the most probable zones. If Planet 9 is near its closest approach, it may lie in the constellation Orion. If it's farther out, Taurus is a prime candidate. We've gone from scanning the entire sky to focusing on a few targeted patches, says Dr. Carlos de la Fuente Marcos of the Pan-STARRS Observatory. It's like going from searching the open sea to narrowing it down to one specific cove. Yet, even with this narrowed scope, spotting Planet 9 is anything but easy. At such distances, and with its predicted size, the planet would appear as nothing more than a dim, slow-moving speck, possibly just a single pixel amid a sea of stars and galaxies. To overcome this, astronomers are using a method called shift and stack, it involves capturing multiple exposures of the same area, digitally adjusting them based on the expected motion of the planet, and layering them together to enhance visibility. This method can reveal objects that would otherwise be lost in noise, with mounting evidence suggesting Planet 9's presence. The global effort to observe it directly has reached a fever pitch, and thanks to a new generation of cutting-edge instruments, that goal is closer than ever. 
At the forefront is the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile, scheduled to begin operations in late 2025. Equipped with a massive 8.4-meter mirror and the world's largest digital camera, boasting an incredible 3.2 gigapixel sensor, the Rubin Observatory will initiate the Legacy Survey of Space and Time, LSST, scanning the entire southern sky every few nights. This groundbreaking telescope will detect objects 100 times fainter than any previous wide-field survey. If Planet 9 exists, Rubin could very well catch sight of it within its first couple of years of operation. The Rubin Observatory is more than an upgrade. It's a revolutionary leap in our capability to detect distant, dim worlds, says Dr. De La Fuente Marcos. We're incredibly optimistic. Meanwhile, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has joined the search as well relying on its unparalleled infrared sensitivity to look for the faint heat signature of the planet, rather than its reflected sunlight. Planet 9 is expected to be unimaginably cold, perhaps as low as minus 226 Suri, minus 35 Feth, radiating mainly in the infrared spectrum, where Webb thrives. In Hawaii, the Subaru telescope offers a different advantage, a wide field of view paired with high-resolution imaging. It's already being used in the Outer Solar System Origins Survey, systematically combing through the most promising regions of the sky. And there's more. Space agencies, including NASA, are exploring the idea of launching a dedicated mission to find and study Planet 9 up close. These missions might utilize novel propulsion methods like solar sails to cut down travel time to the outer solar system. With these combined efforts, supported by increasingly refined predictions, astronomers believe we're on the cusp of a breakthrough, potentially within just a few short years, while direct imaging is still pending. Scientists have crafted compelling models of Planet 9's physical makeup based on its mass and gravitational behavior. It's likely an ice giant much like Neptune, with a rocky core surrounded by a mantle of ices, water, ammonia, and methane, cloaked in a gaseous envelope of hydrogen and helium, with an estimated mass roughly five times that of Earth. This composition fits well with what we know about how giant planets form. At such great distances, the planet's surface temperature would plummet to around minus 226 Celsius. Any methane in its atmosphere could condense and fall as snow, potentially giving the planet a frosty blue or even white appearance. If you were standing on Planet 9, the Sun would look more like a bright star than a glowing disk, explains planetary scientist Dr. Jessica Miller. The sky would stay pitch black even during its daytime. There's a good chance Planet 9 could host its own system of moons or even rings. All our known gas and ice giants have them, and Planet 9 likely would too. These moons might help scientists determine whether the planet formed in our system or was captured from another. Its orbit appears to be tilted about 30 compares from the main plane of the solar system, a trait mirrored in the orbits of the trans-Neptunian objects it influences. That tilt suggests a chaotic past, perhaps involving a violent ejection from the inner solar system or an interstellar origin. Despite its size, Planet 9 would still be almost impossible to see with the unaided eye, even if you were nearby. Its dim reflection of sunlight means only the most sensitive equipment, aided by image stacking and long exposures, will be able to isolate it from the cosmic background. Confirming the existence of Planet 9 wouldn't just rewrite our solar system maps, it would reshape how we think about planetary systems across the cosmos. If such a large distant planet has gone undetected in our own solar system until now, it suggests that countless similar worlds may be hiding in the outskirts of other star systems, far beyond the detection range of our current tools. Just imagine, says astronomer Dr. Puma, Michelle Rivers, if we've missed something so massive in our own backyard, how many more are out there orbiting distant stars? Our current techniques, like transit observations and radial velocity measurements, are highly biased toward finding planets that are close to their host stars, Distant planets like Planet 9 would be virtually invisible using these methods. Its discovery would imply that many planetary systems likely contain cold, distant giants we've never seen before, perhaps even making them one of the most common types of planets in the galaxy. This is already pushing astronomers to develop new detection techniques focused on these remote regions. The implications also ripple through solar system formation theory. Most models depict planetary systems as orderly flat disks where planets form and remain in relatively circular orbits. Planet 9 challenges that vision with its highly eccentric inclined path, hinting that planetary systems may be far more chaotic and dynamic. If it turns out that Planet 9 was captured from another star, 
that would mark the first confirmed case of interstellar planetary exchange, a concept that opens up tantalizing possibilities for how life and habitable environments might spread across the galaxy. For us here on Earth, it means adding a new chapter to our understanding of the solar system's size and complexity. Just as Pluto's reclassification reshaped our planetary definitions, discovering Planet 9 would demand we rethink what we mean by planet and how far our neighborhood truly extends. Most of all, it's a humbling reminder. Even after centuries of sky watching, there are still major worlds waiting to be found right here in our solar system. As the Vera C. Rubin Observatory prepares to begin its historic survey in late 2025, astronomers are more confident than ever that Planet 9's discovery is imminent. Combining new technologies, detailed simulations, and a web of interlocking evidence, the hunt is converging toward what could be one of the most groundbreaking discoveries in modern astronomy. Thanks for watching another episode. While you're here, be sure to click on the video on your screen for more deep space discoveries and cosmic explorations.